dropped him off in my old man's dresser. Want a piece for after supper? Yeah, that's cool. That's when a cigarette tastes best, you know. After supper? Right. Do you think I'm weird? Definitely. No. No, seriously. Not like, you know. Yeah, but so what? Everybody's. So, you, um, you ready for school? No. Junior high, and you know what, Georgie? By next June, we'll all be split up. What are you talking about? Why would that happen? Because it's not going to be like grammar school, that's why. You're going to be in college courses. Me and Teddy and Sherry. We'll all be in home ec courses with the rest of the housewives making blankets and cooking in the back room. You're going to meet a lot of new people. Smart people. You don't want to lose is what you mean? No, don't say that. Don't even think that. Forget it. I'm not going in with a bunch of losers. If you don't, then you're an asshole. What's an asshole only do with my friends? It's ridiculous if your friends can drag you down. You hang with us, you'll just be another dumbass girl with shit for brains. I mean, you could be a real writer someday, Georgie. You know what? Screw writing. It's stupid. It's a stupid waste of time. <laughs> That's your dad talking. Bullshit! Bull true! I know how your dad feels about you. He doesn't give a shit about you. Danny was the one he cared about. Maybe. Don't try to tell me different. You're just a kid, Georgie. Oh, thanks, Dad. I wish I was your dad. You wouldn't be going around talking about taking these stupid old med courses if I was. It's like God gave you something. I mean, all those stories that you can make up. So try not to lose it. But kids lose everything unless there's someone there to look out for them. And if your parents are too screwed up to do that, then maybe I should. Now come on, I will call you.